Hi, welcome to Virus K247. My name is Henry Waters. If this is your first time in this channel, you haven't subscribed yet, do so by hitting that red subscribe button down below. So when I release new video, you'll be the first to see it. Okay, in today's tutorial topic is how to upload multiple images into your database using PHP. Okay, just stick with me to the end of this video, you'll be sure to learn a new thing today. Alright, so without wasting most of our time, let's get to it right away. Alright, I'll be showing you my starter files. This is my database folder where I have my database connection. Alright, this is my image underscore uploaded folder. This is where all the images or all files will be uploaded. Okay, the files will be moved into this folder. Then this is my index.php uh, file where I'll be writing my codes. Okay, so let's get to the code right away. Alright, this is my database script here. Localhost having a port number of 3308, username of what root, password, no password, database name of what, upload underscore images. Just like as I have here, okay? Uh, my database name is what uploaded underscore images. Alright, sorry, I need to add that uploaded. Okay, so I'm going to head over to my index.php now. Um, this is my index.php. If you scroll down, this is where I have uh, the fields with having a type of word file with name image A, image B, C, D, and what image E. Right? It has uh, another attribute of what required. Okay? So that is what I have there. So if, when you move over to the index, this is how it looks like. So when you refresh that, it looks good. Okay? So now, um, the first thing I'm going to do here is just to include the database file. Alright? We're going to include that function then pass the database folder with fo uh, name of our database then my db.php all right so next thing up uh, i need to define a variable called what uh email message okay i'll give you the name of what message all right then the value is what an empty string okay this that message variable will echo any error or successful message okay in the browser there so i'm going to do that here echo message All right so why i defined it initially to be an empty string so that when you will refresh uh this it won't output anything okay so that there won't be any error all right so next thing up is to use my if statement my if is set hash underscore post upload all right what this basically mean, means is we when you push the button the, sub, the submit button okay with type button with name what upload this is the name the index name that's why i added it so when it's pushed the rest of this code under this curly bracket will run okay so first thing i'm going to do here is to define um i'm going to define a variable call it image one with files index name of course image a okay then specify the name a okay this arch underscore files global variable can be used to upload files okay the name index and specify the actual image file name all right so the this name specify the actual image file name all right which is what image a so i'll do the rest for the other images b c d and as well e all right so i'm going to copy this then paste that so I'll call this image 2, image 3, 4, 5. Alright, it's looking good. So um, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to specify my directory, okay? 
want to call, use a variable name call it target all right call it target underscore dial all right i just want to specify my directory so the folder name is what images underscore uploaded all right so the images underscore uploaded is what this okay uh the directory specified uh, where the file is going to be placed or be moved okay the image files that i'll be uploading right so i'm going to define another variable call it target underscore five one so base name function then I pass this variable image one. All right. So the base name function returns the file name from a path. For example, the base name function has two parameters that will be passed in. The first one is path, then comma. The second one is on the suffix. The path specifies a file path, whereas the suffix is a file extension. If the file name has this file extension, the file extension will be what cut off. All right, that's what the surface basically means. So I'm going to copy this, paste it for five. So I'm going to do it for the rest of other um, files, images. Okay, so you have the image. So remember, this image variable is gotten from here. All right, okay. This is going to get the uh, the name, right? The file path, and this is the file path. This is the base function. So I'm going to do that for image three, image four, image five. Change the variable name three. Take it on the sky five four then five five. All right. So I'm going to now. Uh, define a variable call it image file type one okay so image file type one string to lower function all right this will reduce all the strings uh, that will be passed into that function to uh, uh small letters all right that's what that basically means so i'm going to pass a path info function all right the path info function returns information about a file path that's what it just basically means so i'm going to pass this variable target underscore file one comma then the path info extension path info extension all right so close up with a semicolon so i'm going to copy this and do the same for the rest of the files all right call it two call that two So I'm going to save that. Um, next thing up, I'm going to now check, do some little bit validation here. Check if the image is actual image or a fake image. All right. So to do that, I'm going to just still define a variable name, call it check one. All right. So I'm going to use a function called get image size, image size. All right. So get image size function. So then I'm going to pass this files image A. So I'm going to get for image A. Pass the index name of one temporary name. All 
right so i'm going to copy that and do it for the five of them So get the image extension substring. Okay, that's what I'll be doing here now. So I'm going to define a variable. Okay, I'll call it extension extension one, two, three, and four. Okay, so I'm going to get the extension now. Call it extension one, then use a function called substring substring function right then I'll pass the image one variable then the string length I'm going to get the string length to string length function image one so the string length minus what four okay Um, this uh, the something um, has three parameters that's the string the first one the second one is the start way the string will start from then the last is what the length all right so that is what it basically means so I'm going to copy this now and do that for the others as well Okay, now I'm going to uh, pass another variable, call it allowed extension. So this is going to check uh, this extension that will be required. This is very, very important uh, for validation so that the user won't upload a file type that is not wanted. All right. So I'm going to pass an array function. All right. Then, so I'm going to pass the strings that it will be checking for. So, what we'll be needing was this JPG file type, right? Comma. Another is what JPEG. All our what images. Then I'm going to check for what PNG as well. So which other one we're going to be checking for now? Then GIF uh, five times as well. All right. So um, we're, we're now going to do our validation proper now. So first thing first, we're going to use an if statement. Okay. If So we're going to pass this variable check um, this 
all right we're going to check if the file is a fake image or not so we'll check for the first variable if it's equal to false all right so what i'll be doing i'm going to paste the rest of the code so that it won't take us so much time all right i already have those code written out so i'm going to paste them and also explain them to you all right so um what's this first if statement does is to check if the file is an actual image or a fake image okay so i pass in here the variable the check one right the hash check one two and three so you check if it's equals to false or the check two is equals to false or three so if any of them is equals to false it's going to echo this message all right one or more of this file is fake image all right okay then pass it the mysql line as called error function this will debug if there's any error in the code i'm passing the database connection variable of what's arch con all right so this image uh variable is being assigned to this one string okay so this is where the image variable will be echoing so this is where the errors or, or successful message will be echoed okay that's why i have this code right here all right so the next condition here for the validation is what else if function all right this is going to check the file size of the image being inserted all right so we know that 1024 bytes is equal to one kilobytes now we want to check for if the image is bigger than what 100 kilobytes so that's why i have 102400 so it checks for the first image index name of what a image a if it's greater than 100 kilobytes or if it's greater than the image size for b is greater than what 100 kilobytes the same thing is done for c d and e all right that's what this condition does or if any of them is greater than that it's going to run this code this error message will run okay to echo what one or more of the image size is too large okay and all that so else this else uh has a closing curly bracket here okay so it has all that rest of the code inside it so look at the next uh, validation function here file underscore exists so it's going to check if the file actually exists okay passing the variable of target underscore file one all right it's going to pass this word so what bas this basically does is to check if it already exists in our database or in our uploaded uh, file directory if it does any of them for the file one target on a scale five two three or that's going to also echo this error all right so that's what that does then else if it's going to check the extensions as well and also allowed extensions okay it checks this extension for one to know the type of file we are uploading okay because some websites might require specific type of files so for this course of the tutorial what we'll be needing here is what the images just like the jpg the jpeg the png and gif if the user should upload png files it will echo an error so that's what this does so if it's not in this array it's going to echo this error so to say one or more file is not an image right so that's what that does so the next thing up here is the file will be what move into the directory so that's what this code does right so using a function of uh, move underscore uploaded underscore file passing this uh PSU, php global variable of files with index name of what a temporary name as well then the target file as well all right so it's going to move it to this folder so that's what this does to this uploaded images underscore uploaded all right saving that in that uh folder then next thing up is now to insert those images into the database all right so this is the database name and the values of what target file one so it's going to pick this up all right pick all this uh variable that's been specified here okay so that is all done all right so after that 
is going to query the SQL variable, right? Make sure it gets inserted. If it's inserted, what happens? Then this code will run, right? If the result function variable, if this result variable is true, that's if it's inserted, then the image variable is being passed this successful saying what your images has been created successfully else if an error then debug the error with this function all right so that's just that so what i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be testing the code right now okay so i'm going to move over to my uh browser now refresh that remember this is how my database looks like okay this is the structure how it looks at right image a b c d and e right so i'll be uploading my image files now pick that up okay so let me just push upload let's see what happens it's going to say the file is required all right Okay, we're going to click on that. I'm sure there will be an error here. One of my image file size is too large, as you can see. It's too large. 100 kilobytes is being required. So I'm going to try again. Alright, there's a, a mistake here on the five variable extension five on line fifty seven. Alright, that's okay, there's a mistake here. Alright, I'm going to save that then refresh. As you can see, it's successful. Your images has been exploded successfully. So let's check our database now. You see, the image has been uploaded. All right. So I'm going to also check uh, our images folder here. As you can see, the, all the images has been moved here. All right. So even if you try to refresh it to like re-upload it again, it will tell you an error as you can see sorry one or more of the five images already exist in our database see so all the codes that i have here is being validated uh strictly okay you can make some changes on your own if you want okay the next thing i will do here i will just uh fetch some of these images from our database and also file folder as well all right so I'm going to echo that so but before then I'm going to add this image HTML tag height then alternatively image all right so I'm going to from my code here query my sqli underscore query 
function so i'm going to pass my database connection variable then my my sql query so select all from images this is my my table name where where clause where id is equals to what so or die my sqli underscore error function all right so where id is what so i'm trying to fetch what i have in my database so my id is what one so where id is going to one so we're going to fetch that then find the variable name uploads the mysql underscore fetch array function passing the query variable all right so that's going to fetch that so what i'll be needing here which of the image will i need here with the index name okay let me fetch the image a I have an index name of image a so i'm going to echo that in the source echo arch uploads so call it image a all right so that is just that so i'm going to refresh this now as you can see it's fetching the image a so if, if i change that as well refresh it again you see it fetching the image b as well so guys if you learned something new in this tutorial please don't forget to like this video don't forget to share it to your friends as well and if you're first time watching my videos and you haven't subscribed yet please do so by hitting that red subscribe button so when i release the next video you'll be the first to see it okay i will see you guys on the next one